guys it's lj make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy good afternoon that's okay land man check this out man we already know why you're here because your jump shot is broken but listen man i got the key for y'all man i got the soup i got the sauce the rhythm stick man if you're not on the train i'm telling you hop on the train as soon as you can because before the end of this game a lot of people are going to be using the rhythm stick i think they're going to be converting to it even though i mean especially if you're off ball beer man if you're if you're on ball beer i get it i i probably wouldn't do it either but it does work because you can you can hit them with some movement do your thing then quick stop and then shoot it like you it, it is possible to do it but um like, and I don't even know what the quick stop is. I guess that's the quick stop and then the shot. So, like, I'm just, if I'm doing it right here. It's really easy to do it. We're going to talk about all it in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know where we're going with this thing. To the moon, Addis! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all, man. Real quick, what shooting with the rhythm stick is, is just using the right stick in order to take the shot. The way that you do it in, in its simplest form, I'm gonna give y'all the, the cut and the cliff notes version, and then I'm, I'm gonna give y'all. So really, you pull the stick down. When it gets to the release point, you you want to flick the stick up. That's basically what it is in a nutshell, man. And 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 like for, and in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you from a you're gonna go from a uh, shot stick novice to a shot stick professional. Pause, man. So like you know what I'm saying. So make sure y'all rock with your boy. Hit that like button and, uh, and and let's just get right into it, man. So look, this is what we doing, man. All right, do what we doing, you know what I'm saying? Shot stick, big blink, you know what I'm saying? Now this is what we doing, man. We we shooting with the with, with the uh, what the the basics of it is when you catch the ball, you're gonna flick this, you're gonna hold the stick down until. The, until the set point or the release of your shot. Once you get that, you are trying to match your guy's hand speed that with the tempo. So tempo, you're trying to match the hand speed as closely as you can. That's the best way that I can explain tempo. So if you got a fast jump shot, you're gonna match the, the hand speed match will be fast. You have a slow jump shot, you'll be matching it. You know, you just gotta match it as, as it's gonna be slow more or less so with this one i got a nice smooth jump shot so once it gets up there all i have to do is match his hand speed with the uh with the up part and sometimes you're gonna miss sometimes but one thing i can tell you you if you have been struggling shooting you will miss far less often one strategy that i like to do is is this uh when the ball is coming i like to already be holding the, the shot stick down and you're not gonna be able to see it as well. Like in some of these clips, you can see it, like I'm, I'm shooting it immediately. But here, uh, for whatever reason in here, they don't let you shoot it immediately. Like they let you shoot with the, uh, like you see what I'm saying, with the with the button. So that's something that I wish that, that could be done in here, but they really don't let you do it. So maybe if I do it, yeah. It, it, it's like he's gonna catch it and put it away. And, um, the main thing that I would say do is when you're using the shot stick, you have to just get used to the, cause I can't hit from out here. It's gonna expand. It, it will definitely expand your horizon as far as your, as far as your jump shots. But the main thing that I think it really is going to do is help you lock in on your jump shot. So the only thing you're looking at is your guy's form. And when you're looking at just his form, maybe maybe that's why we're hitting more shots and, and stuff like that because you're trying to do two things at one time and so when you're trying to do several things at once you don't have time to to worry about you know this that or the other another thing that the shot stick does is for the fades and pull-ups and stuff man i'm telling you it, it it's it's to me i could never hit fades and pull-ups but right here i can hit those joints consistently the only thing i hate is is that um that with the fades and pull-ups, you can't do like a like the super running fade because I can I can hold it and and do it, but he he won't do the super running fade. Like when I'm talking about the running fade, I'm talking about that one right there. Like he he won't do that one. But let me see. 
Oh yeah, he will do it. Okay, I lied. I just lied. Maybe I just don't have the right fade on. But you you just gotta come up. You just you, you don't even gotta come off the stick. You can just turbo it. I don't know if there's a running fade or whatever in the game, but what I do is I'm running, I come off turbo, and then flick it, flick it back the other way when I do it. And and like I said, it's much hard, much easier to describe than anything. But again, tempo, tempo, tempo. Mastering the tempo is something that we should be able to do almost every time. Cause like I, I should be able to, what I would do is get used to all the shots that you like to take. Get yourself to where you're never missing tempo. Because if you're never missing tempo, you'll be you'll be night, you're gonna be good on the on the actual uh shooting of the shot. And what I'm saying is if you're not missing tempo, that means that you know your shot intimately, you know it inside out. So so that means that when you pull down and then you go up on the stick, you don't even have to worry about anything else because even though it's not muscle memory, it can it's going to be the closest thing that we have to muscle memory in this game. So I'm going to break this down one more time for y'all, man. Listen, check it out. This is what you're going to do. You're going to catch the ball, pull the stick down. When it gets to the set point, you're going to, when I'm saying go up with the stick, you see, you see when with, with his hand, I'm trying to match his hand speed when it goes up. So once the, I'm holding the stick down, until it gets, or in, in any direction, really, you could do it side to side, like you could do it side to side or whatever, right? And I just missed that one, but I ain't, I didn't miss my tempo. So you could do it side to side. You can do it diagonal to, to other diagonal. I can go down to the side. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, well, you, got, you got to go opposite direction. I can go diagonal to the other diagonal. So you can do it any direction that you want to. You just have to start. I don't think I could, oh yeah, you start up. Okay, so you can start up and down too if you want to. So you, whatever you want to do, right, right, right there. I was doing, I was doing this way to that way. But the main thing is, once the ball is in the air, once the ball is in the air, or on its way to you, hold the stick in any direction, and then once it gets to the set point, you're just gonna match his hand speed. That's like I said, you will get, you'll get used to it. And you probably won't even have to look at the hand speed and you're really just going to be looking at looking at the uh the set point making sure that you get to the set point but that's what i do so make sure man listen if you don't do nothing else man look this that that's what it is control it down flick it up and you can hit literally almost any shot i mean we got dudes out here like right here this dude hit a tight tightly contested joint man in the wreck and it's just and it's absolutely insane but the, the biggest thing is too that the green window is much bigger and like I said maybe they just want you to shoot these joints in rhythm and that's why it's the, uh, maybe that's why they call it the rhythm stick and then on the set shots you know maybe they want us to use on the set shots they want us to use the uh, button but I use the rhythm stick on set shots also man and uh, it's growing on me and I don't think I'm, I think this might be one of those where, where 2k is on or something and I, um, and I might only use the rhythm stick going forward especially on wide open shots man so get a rhythm stick and try man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section just just all you got to do when it gets to the set point just match your guy's hand speed now that's one thing that you cannot look away and you can't do it because if you if you're too fast it, it's just gonna show if you're too slow it's gonna show and if you feel like you're trying to get the shot off before the guy gets there don't worry about that because you're gonna have you're gonna have all the time in the world man but so make sure y'all go out there use the, use the rhythm stick try to get used to it man if, if you can use it in pot you can shoot it in pockets you can shoot it at the top you can shoot it at whatever you're try it out like this if you know that you're chicken from the corner but you're not chicken from the top use the try to use the rhythm stick from the top and then that way maybe you'll get more and more used to it because a lot of times like i would use it from i would use it from my weakest areas on the floor i wouldn't use it i, I feel like like if you're in the corner and you chicken from the corner, why use it there? But if you if it's a if it's a shot or area on the floor that you are very weak in, use it in the area that you're very weak in. What's gonna happen? You already missing. You already fifty from that spot. So you might as well use it from here, like I'm using it from the top. And then the only thing I got to do is worry about tempo. And like that's something that you got to stay locked in on forehead to the monitor. But people gonna be like, "Dag, bro, you chick." 
yeah, Tick Hearn, man. So yeah, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Become a shot stick expert. Get on the train now. Pro stick, pro, pro shot stick, whatever they call it. Hey, hey what, what the rock say? It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what the name is, man. Get on the train before the train pulls out and don't try to get them to legislate this joint out the game. And I'll tell you one thing, if they make shooting easier, then this is gonna be even easier, man. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hit that like button if you do subscribe and I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, please.